right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and the wine we had this afternoon is so rare, we don't even have a bottle to put on the table here for our review. Actually, we do have some of this wine in our warehouse in the Donna Estates. I've been following this property since its inception. Our good friend Peter Perry in charge here. He was over at Farniente for years and he came by to see me with the first few vintages of these wines and said, Andrew, you guys are, you're my guy here in Florida, man. We're not going to be giving this wine to any other retail stores but the Wine Watch. You get three bottles. Okay, thanks, Peter. I mean, you know, we're happy to take whatever we're able to get of a wine like this. It is such a unique project. And, uh, you know, when you get Philippe Melka involved as the consulting winemaker, uh, these guys bought the old Livingston Moffat property. The winery there completely redid it. It's one of the most impressive wineries that I have seen. Everything focusing on quality. They've got four single vineyard wines, and they make this Onda wine at Donna Estate. And together, everything's between 1,200 and 1,800 cases combined of all four reds and one white. Wow. They make 600 cases of this wine. It's their largest production wine. It's a blend of all four vineyard sites, Crystal Springs, Helms, Hershey, and Moffat. Mostly Cabernet Sauvignon, 87%, a little Merlot, Petit Verdot in the mix. And uh, these guys use different vessels to ferment the different single vineyards. They've got oak, they've got concrete, they've got stainless steel, and this is a mix of all those. It's in new wood for uh, 19 months, 50% new wood. And wow, this wave of gold, which is what the name refers to, very rich and complex bouquet here. Currants, black cherries, dark uh, plum, uh, really lovely amount of uh, uh, earth and really toasty oak spice, dark chocolate, mocha, uh, very complex nose here, lush and fruity on the palate with ripe round tannins. This wine already drinking nicely, but it's got legs. This wine is going to last for decades in your cellar. Just a long layered finish, that dark chocolate, the mineral nuance showing through there. One of the best Cabernets that I've had from Napa this year. At $199, it's also the least expensive wine they make at Donna State, well, other than the white. But uh, the other single vineyards will be coming out in a couple months, and these wines have already scored 100 points several times. Um, the wine we have, uh, the 100-point Donna State, is $750 a bottle. Makes this wine look cheap. But, uh, hey, these cult wines from Cabernet are uh, from Napa Valley. These cult Cabernets from Napa Valley not getting any less expensive, it seems. And uh, with the scores that Donna Estate has gotten over the years, this wine may look like a relative value to some collectors. All right, that's what we have with our friends from Donna Estate. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying, remember, always drink the good stuff first.